Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use your wireless N300 ADSL2 Plus router by D-Link as an DSL router, okay? First of all, the company did not say that, that they are providing both DSL and ADSL on the same device. You call the company, they will say no, you need to like buy for this like this model is DSL DSL right and you need to buy it like DIR devices DIR model devices for like routing the DSL internet DSL internet like your local cable operator internet like from <coughs> Hathaway Tikona and many other okay so let's just start how to do this here is my D-Link 2750U it's working right now it's working on MTNL right now currently I'm work using the MTNL for my internet and first of all what you need like first of all you need to go to you need to go to the like official site of dealing that is uh, D link D link go to the official site of D link okay while you're on the official side I will show you going to the home page of the modem my 192.168.1.1 oh I'm sorry I like 192.168.1.1 Yeah, here's it. the default password is admin. Type it admin, okay? So here is the first thing I want to tell you about this. You look the from the version, it says ME103. 1.03, okay? When I bought this product, it says 1.03. 101 sorry 01 version ME 1. Point, it's not ME then when I bought it it's only version 1.01 1. okay and now I have updated the firmware to 103 okay so how do you gonna do that the main question is that how how do you gonna update your firmware okay so I will tell you what, how to do that First of all, you need to like go to the official site of D-Link and right now I am the official in the official site of India. Okay. So you can download from here from here also. Select your product. It says DSL 2750U. DSL Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Where did it go? DSL 2750U. Select so this. The model of your. Yeah. Here it comes. Now, for firmware, you need to go to the. This no, specification. No. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. You need to go work with. Sorry. Again, sorry. Support now go to firmware and download this one you see it says version oh i'm bit i'm sorry i'm i'm very sorry about this sorry for wasting your time guys you need to go to like on countries first of all you need to go to the website and then go to the countries change the country to india to 
to UA, okay? Dubai. You know, okay? So go to all products router on the official website of Dubai. Okay? Now we you select ADSL and now you need to select your model 2750U with four parts for four parts there it is you see this DSL yeah click on this and after this you need to go to downloads on downloads you need to go to the firmware okay and here it is me one dot zero three the exact firmware of mine see this earlier the firmware was 1.10 for India okay and for Indian update they are not providing these service like you can on that update you are not able to like use your modem as ADSL plus DSL okay so you need to download the firmware from the Middle East countries of like Russia like Dubai and so many other countries you can see on the official side so you just download the firmware from there okay there it is from where you need to hit on that click on that and it says I have I have already downloaded that's why this is app this is showing that if the existing file is complete show the download complete dialog otherwise resume it okay so when you hit on that download sign when you hit on this download side sign it will automatically download it okay so you need to not worry about that and after downloading that go to the location of the downloaded file I have like on document downloads the is where yeah see this this file will came up it's around 6 MB so you can download easily okay so this and this file will be image file so remember that also so after downloading this you need to do what nothing and, and just go to the official home page of ADSL 2750U and type admin Red main enter okay and now remember now watch carefully okay guys now go to management you go to management and on management you see on the left side firmware update okay and mine says your current firmware version is me underscore 1.03 okay and current version date is this and for you guys the current version may be 1.10 for Indian guys okay so don't worry about that so you need to just select your downloaded file your iOS image file okay go to the location of that file and select that file okay I have, I have already done this and that's why I'm not doing this so I will tell you what to do okay so just select that you need not need to check this uncheck it and after selecting that file you need to start update firmware okay and meanwhile while the updation is going on you do not turn off your router or your modem okay so if you do that you may break your modem okay so don't do that and when you hit on update from there it will take around five minutes for the reinstallation and after like reinstalling 
the new firmware from your device, your computer, you you're on this page. I will tell you where you will. you after completing the firmware update, you will on this page. Then again, you need to type admin for admin password. Okay, so <clears throat> and then. one more thing you need to connect your ethernet cable or rg45 cable to the ports for port for on your modem okay because other are becomes the LAN cable and your port for become the internet or service provider whatever that was I don't know exact word Okay, so you need to connect your wire, your internet wire, which is provided by by your IP at service IP uh, service provider to port four. Port four. Remember, guys, port four. Okay. So plug after installing your firmware you log in through this page you might have any kind of problem like I don't remember the exact what it says but it says something RTL84 like firmware update is problem that if you face that kind of problem you will just select another com country and download the firmware from there okay and I will tell you one more thing the firmware is for model number hardware version v1 and firmware version 1.02 okay so those guys who have hardware version one point version one only those guys will download this or follow these steps okay or uh, if the other guys do this other ma other device you need to try on that you may broke your modem okay so don't do that don't do that so after like updating your firmware you need to connect your RJ45 cable to port 4 and then you need to go to your home page I'm currently on my home page I log into this now you need to go to internet setup yeah here you see this this option earlier when I did not update my firmware there is no this kind there is not not an option like when access type okay so when you update this firmware you see this option over here ethernet or dsl it's up to you which one you want to use you can use dsl also you can use ethernet also and you can also see this note if you select when access type is ethernet please send line to lan for port what I'm saying is the same word you need to connect to the like port 4 for your ethernet cable and then you need to configure that okay so you just select ethernet if you are using go to add for new user I have already added that's why this is over here okay I have already configured my modem so like you need you guys need to select ethernet and then add and you will see this and these options are provided by your service provider okay which kind of protocol they are using is it dynamic static bridging whatever they are using you need to contact to these those guys and those and then they will tell you what to do okay so don't worry about that you need to call your local service provider your internet provider so uh, what kind of protocol they are using is it bridge or static IP or dynamic whatever they are using so 
just they are might using static IP okay they are using this iron I think so that okay so you need to type these option provided by them okay and you not do anything with these enable NTA check it NTA type full con net enable well service remember if you untick this you're not able to use your Wi-Fi okay so you need to check it that whether it is checked or not okay so do this fill this with the IPs which are provided by your service provider for that you need to contact your service provider which protocol they are using and what is the IP addresses default gateway preferred DNS alternate DNS server okay so you just need to fill these and apply it and after applying you can use your internet which is provided by your cable operator or local service provider okay so that's it hope this video will help you out for using your 2750 US ADSL plus DSL and don't forget forget to subscribe me and like okay have a nice day bye bye